Hey guys, so making this video here, uh, something I saw today, you know, on Twitter, um, wanted to kind of bring it up since, you know, I think it's a pretty big deal and it's something that we kind of saw a few months ago and got forgotten, but this kind of reminded me of it and I thought it was important enough to make a video. Obviously, it's uh, going to be about Jagex's, uh, you know, support and uh, primarily their, their band, their RWT, uh, you know, gold buying band system. Um, so kind of the way that the their uh, band system and uh, detection system right now works is broken in the game i it, i think uh and I, I think it's pretty obvious kind of going through these two main tweets so this is what i saw today and this is what kind of brought to my attention made me want to make this video here uh this is from proxy he's saying uh he was banned a month ago and he was you know tagging all the j mods obviously because when you get perm banned you have no customer support if your appeal gets denied you have no way of talking with a real person or you know getting it looked at by a real person so he's tagging all the j mods and he thinks it's for uh rwting for buying uh corp boost so he's saying he he got gp for doing mega scales is what i'm guessing and then he spent gp on corp boosting and he's uh saying he thinks that's you know what happens so you can see here like his his band page rwt major and then this was twisted's reply here so he said you traded gold from the account you've mentioned to another account which then once again traded the gold and was sold the ban is correct so basically what twisted saying is proxy here traded the gold from his account that got banned to another account probably his corp boosting account uh the, the account he was buying boost from so some dude said, hey, I'll give you, you know, court boosting for one mil a KC or whatever the number is. He traded him uh, 100 mil for 100 kills or whatever. And then that dude then RWT that GP. Now, Proxy here, I mean, he pr he probably has no idea this dude's RWTing. He might kind of know in the back of his mind, like, hey, this guy's making a lot of money. He's probably RWTing. But service buying is very common throughout the game. And I'm talking legal service buying. I'm not talking, you know, like getting someone to buy your infernal cape, which happens all the time and is against the rules. I'm talking like paying a CA boosting team, right? So let's say you want to go get the eight Mantoa speed run time and you go pay a team 100 mil for that time. Uh, if they go and RWT that, you can get banned. And that's, I mean, this is super common. People, you know, pay for team CA tasks all the time, which is completely, completely within the game rules. This is not... You know against game rules at all so you know this in and of itself is it, it it's ridiculous i mean you're kind of opening up a can of worms anytime you trade another player if if they rwt that gold you are liable to be banned now so let's say you're doing we do raids you get a you get a uh, shadow split if you go split it with your teammate and he sells that gold you can get banned is what twisted is saying right here in the text do you traded it to another account and then that account traded the gold the ban is correct perm banned permanently banned for that and that it reminded me too because we had talked about this a couple months ago so this post here from Aiza. so someone posted uh you know clan bingos it's like a discord uh it's likely getting flagged due to the way the money's passed around you know um basically they're saying like hey it's our clan bingos against the rules and Aiza goes like uh, technically under UK law, bingo is a form of gambling, which is I mean I, it's insane. What are we saying that again? Clan bingo, as we know, is fine and not against uh, the rules under Games of Chance. So I have no idea what that first sentence was for. I mean, this is ridiculous. There's no need to post that. It's just going to confuse people. And yeah, he realizes this is stupid. <laughs> Sorry. And then someone wants to clarify, like, so bingos are totally safe. And then Aiza goes, yes, though, to be absolutely clear, if someone in your clan RWTs and they're adding gold to the pot, you may get banned as a result. So tell your clan needs to be clean and play by the rules. This is the exact same ideology behind what Twisted was saying for the perm ban. Basically, Jagex are, is saying they have they have no way to determine when they're chain banning gold from RWT, they have no way to determine if those accounts are related at all, right? So if you trade someone gold, basically, for any reason, if that person RWTs, you can get banned. So, I mean, does Jagex just not want anyone to trade? And that's what everyone's saying here. It's like, you know, this is ridiculous. Like, someone goes, should we all just play Iron Man or something? It's, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, interacting with other players in an MMO may get you banned. Oof. And that's literally what's happening 
right here and that's what happened with uh with proxy that's why you got perm ban interacting with other players from an mmo um and you know paying for services that are within game rules and i think the root of the problem here is kind of what i just mentioned jagex if they're banning someone so i think we can all agree you know start off on the premise that rwt if you sell gold for irl money you should probably be banned right that's, you know, if you're the one who's selling the gold, you should probably be banned. I, that's fine, right? I, I think we can all agree that's a fair stance to take. Uh, then kind of the next step would be if you're, you know, the Jagex is trying to prevent muling, right? So let's say I have an account that I'm using to, to gold farm, and I don't want that account banned because it's a really good account. So I trade my level 3 account, and then the level 3 account RWTs. Well, that main account that was gold farming should probably be banned too because you're just kind of ban evading by trading that level three. So, you know, I think that's okay. But then the problem they run into is Jagex from, from these two interactions, they obviously have no way to determine whether that account that traded them is from the same person. Because if it's from the same person, then yes, you're, you're ban evading, you should be banned. But if it's a different person, like if in the We Do Raids example, if I give you a split and you're just a real world trader and you RWT, I shouldn't be banned from that just because you real world traded my gold from a split. I had no idea that you were going to real world trade that. So are we just supposed to do everything solo? Like we're never going to go free for all the time? You're actively discouraging ba the, the, the whole point of playing an MMO like this and you know, the whole point of kind of teaming up for raids, it's a half of what makes the game fun, in my opinion, is, you know, doing raids with other people and getting drops and playing the game with others, playing it with friends. But if you're playing and someone RWTs, you're liable for that. So you're liable for people you may have never met before in your life. It, It's a totally broken system. I mean, Jagex needs to be able to distinguish the difference between I am trading my own account to mule gold off of it then those should both accounts should be banned versus I'm just trading some random person I've never met in my life. My account should not be banned for that. So I just wanted to make this video because I, in my opinion, this is a pretty big issue. I mean, this opens a whole can of worms and I don't think people are aware. This is the stance Jagex has. If you trade a random person and they RWT that gold that you traded them, you are liable to be banned. So, I mean, until I hear otherwise, I think you should just, uh, I mean, just scam everyone. If you're in We Do Raid, scam them, you know, because you're not going to get banned for scamming the item, but you can get banned for trading the gold over. So just go on Rune Watch, just scam the items, don't trade anyone, free for all everything until we hear otherwise. Because, I mean, this is, they're saying if you don't do that, you're going to get banned. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, if you guys ever been banned, uh, chain ban like this from RWTing, or you think that's kind of why you've been banned, or, you know, if you had any experience with that. And thanks for watching.